Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. My name is Michaela. I'm a 21 year old foster mom making videos about motherhood, foster care, cooking, cleaning, lifestyle hauls, all that good stuff. Today I have a really random haul for you. Um, I went into the Dollar Tree. I wasn't sure what I was going in there for. So of course that led to disaster. And so I caught a glimpse of the Valentine's Day stuff. They had just put everything up and if you've seen my previous videos, you know our Dollar Tree sucks. So it's gone so fast. So I was like, I'm not waiting. It's a little bit early, but I'm not waiting. I need it. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway. Um what was I saying? He's a mess. Um anyway. Um I normally like wait to the last minute and I just realized this is weird but um I usually wait till the last minute and they don't have anything and I'm complaining so I was like I'm not gonna wait this time I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna get it I don't typically like decorate for Valentine's Day I usually only decorate for fall and Christmas that's it but now that we have little ones I really want to decorate I'm not gonna like decorate for St. Patrick's Day I'll probably decorate for Valentine's Day and then I'll decorate for Easter and then I'm probably not gonna super decorate for 4th of July um, but like maybe some summery kind of stuff and then again in the fall so not too much more left to go so um, and I didn't have anything so I got quite a bit of stuff here um, if it wasn't for the kiddos I don't think I would do it but I do have two kiddos if you're new here I'm a foster mom with placement of two sweet little boys ages one and three and they're talking on the monitor I'm trying to hear what he's saying um I don't know what he's saying um so I wanted to go all out I'm definitely gonna do something for them for Valentine's Day like a little like Valentine's Day basket or some kind of gift for them they really don't have any like they're not really into stuffed animals but we have these little bears we got from our foster care shower um, and they're like stuff to put in like it's like a travel bear and you can put stuff in it and they love those things but they're like empty because you know they don't have stuff in there so they just want like a teddy bear and my littlest one loves dogs so I may do something with that I don't know that video is going to come later but I'm just going to show you really quick what I got I got a couple things that aren't Valentine's Day related just because I was there so but I'll start with the Valentine's Day stuff this first thing I saw and I was like this is absolutely perfect for foster care so perfect and this says love every moment and i thought this would be really cute too we have like i have door hangers on like or like a wreath hanger on all of my doors in the house like typically i just have like some little burlap wreaths on there and um i have a house for coming if i haven't mentioned that if i can ever get myself together um but i think this would be really good to go on their door it's just i mean it is so perfect for foster care love every moment and that is what we are doing so this is really cute and for a dollar i mean oh you can't beat it so got that the next thing i got was this little sign it does have some extra little white at the bottom i'm thinking about having my husband cut that off i should have looked like and seen if there was some that didn't have that but this is so so stinking cute um what i i have like a little cabinet like a wall cabinet in our guest bathroom so for fall I set a little picture up there and with like a candle and I was like this is good so I don't have anything for for that so I'm thinking I'm going to put that in this in there it's really cute these are sparkly can you tell but really cute and the next one I got I like think this is so freaking cute this also says love each moment and it is so pretty like sorry that the light but it's gold and it is so pretty it's got this like white wood backdrop it is so cute i don't know exactly where i'm gonna put this but i freaking love it oh my god it's so cute the next thing I saw as I was checking out, and I think I'm going to put this on my desk. I say this all the time, but just for Valentine's Day, it says, bless your heart. So cute. And I mean, it's just like, for a dollar, like, you cannot beat this stuff. I mean, I spent $13 on it in the year, and like, not even all of it was on Valentine's Day stuff. Like, $10 at Dollar Tree can deck your house out for a holiday. It's so crazy. And then, I picked up two of these. I'll just show you one. 
because like I said, on my guest doors, I have um, wreath hangers that have burlap wreaths. So I thought about replacing that those with this for, for, for the holiday. It's just really pretty, really cute. I mean, it's, this probably is not going to last after this year, but I mean, for a dollar, it's really cute. I originally thought I was going to put it on our front door, but our front door is red, so... I don't think I'm going to do that, but it's so cute. So I did have two of, do two of those. There's the other one, in case you're curious. It looks exactly the same. And then I got this sign, which I think that is going to be the one that goes on my front door. It's a little bit of a deeper red, but it says, Happy Valentine's Day. And that's really like the only place I really want to say that. But this is so stinking cute. I love it. It's, I just love the burlap. Like, we have, we don't have a farmhouse, but we have kind of that kind of decor. That's the kind of style that I'm into. Just, like, rustic, buffalo check, that kind of thing. So, I think this is really pretty. And for a dollar. And then the last sign, I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I freaking love it. Like, how cute is this? It's like a redwood background and it has this like galvanized metal heart and I'm sorry, let me move the tag and the white letters. Oh my gosh, it is so cute and it's pretty good sized. Like, it's pretty good. So, I mean, I cannot, I cannot pass it up. It is so freaking cute. So, I'll do, I want to do like a normal house tour when I don't have the, the, the Valentine's Day stuff up. So maybe I can try to get that done this weekend so I can put this stuff up because I'm not going to wait until February to put it up because I'm not going to put it up for two weeks and then take it down. So maybe like in the middle of January I'll try to put this stuff up and then I'll do like an updated house tour with our Valentine's Day stuff. I did also get a banner from Walmart the other day for our living room. We have like a like a like two like a double windows in our living room so it's really big and I want to just drape it across there. It just hurts. It doesn't actually say anything but so now I guess this is somewhat Valentine's Day related. Um, my little one is in Head Start. It's like a pre preschool program. So I know that they'll be doing something for Valentine's Day. I'm trying to get him moved into preschool, but either way, he's going to be doing something for Valentine's Day. So I saw these. I saw um, Valentine's at Walmart. They were like $2.50. Like this isn't like can't be that much different than the one at Walmart, and it's a dollar. So, and he will be happy with them. I'm probably going to be the one filling them out because he can't write. So, you know what? This will be just fine. <laughs> and I thought about getting my one-year-old some, too. Just, like, give out to our family because I want him to feel left out. Like, and I'm going to make a video because I think we're going to go ahead and make his Valentine's box. Because I know he's going to have to have one for school. But one of my coworkers, her daughters, they did theirs at school last year or the year before. Like, they just sent the money for the supplies and they did them there. So, that's kind of cool if they do that. But I don't know if they will. So, I might hold off on that for a little bit. I may ask his teacher. But these were a dollar. 32 of them. I don't think he even has that many kids in his class. But this will cover the bases. And then, two other things while we're on the Spider-Man kick. Uh, they had all of their wrapping paper 50% off. So, this is some Christmas wrapping paper. It's Spider-Man. Um, it's got some webs. It, it would really work for year-round if it didn't have snowflakes on them. And the oldest that was really into Spider-Man, his birthday is not until August. So, um... This really won't work for that, but if they're here next Christmas, this would be great. Um, or if we have another little one. It's just so cute. I just can't pass it up. And they're two for a dollar, so that's just really good. Um, anyway, that's... And then my my older, my younger one has a birthday in like a couple of months. So this might work for it, but he's not super into Spider-Man. He's not really super into anything. But... Um, so now, my, on to the last couple of things I picked up. Boring. Um, we needed some more air freshener for our guest bathroom. So, just picked up this ooh, snuggle. I love this kind of scent. at Airwick, I mean, dollar. I was in there by myself. My husband stayed in the car with the kids. So, like, I tried to buy this last time when we were at Walmart. And I put it in the cart. And it just, they just kept spraying it. And they just kept messing with it. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to get it. Because you're being a pain. So, I was by myself. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. And then I got one of these. This is in Hawaiian Squeeze. Okay, it smells good. I didn't even smell it while I was there. I was trying to get in and get out. But 
we put these in our laundry room, which is also our trash room. Um, we have our water heater in there. Space is really tight in that room, and you'll see that whenever we do our home tour. But it's not, there's no outlet, so I can't put like a, um, like a plug, scent thing, like a wall plug. Um, scent thing. Oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? The word. If you guys know the word that I'm thinking of, please leave it in the comments below because why can I not think of that? I know like at, like at Bath and Body Works are called wallflowers, but I don't know. Anyway, so we have a water heater in there, and that's really the only thing we can do. I've been putting a candle in there, and I don't want to do that because we're just not in there. I'm afraid I wouldn't remember to take it, take it, blow it out. So we keep these little things in there, and we go through them relatively quickly. But it's a small space, so these aren't. These, these do the trick. Typically, like, I'll buy them in, like, a big set, but ours is running out. And with the diapers, we don't have, like, a diaper genie or anything, so that our diapers just, we wrap them up in a bag and throw them in our regular trash. He's not going to sleep. I can hear him on the monitor. Um, so these work for our tiny little room. But I typically will buy them in a bigger set. And another, the last thing I'm kind of excited about, and I don't know... It's maybe it's just me, but they're starting to put like spring stuff out and like gardening stuff and summer stuff slowly. But we took our ice box out of our freezer. We don't have like a we just have like a two door fridge, like not like a freezer and a one like a one door open. So our freezer is really small, so like we don't have like a lot of room to put stuff and with kids you know we have a lot of freezer stuff so we forfeited having ice because we just didn't have room for the ice box so my grandma who's here a lot she has to have ice and I have to have ice on a lot of stuff so I bought these and I'm gonna put these in the freezer and maybe these will just do the trick um because it doesn't take up nearly as much space they're reusable um I don't know I'm gonna try it out I mean, yeah, plastic ice cubes. So, I'm going to try them. Like, I just, they take a plus base in having a whole ice box. And I hate, like, ice cube trays because they constantly spill. So, hopefully this will do the trick. Um, but that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, like I said, I spent, like, $13, something like that. $12, $13. So, it wasn't bad, and I'm gonna, my house is going to be decked out for Valentine's Day this year, which is fun. Um, but, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have some videos that have been filmed and waiting to go up. This one will probably go up before, the, like, the, like, the weekly Sunday video. I'm hoping that this week's Sunday video will be a declutter with me, because I did declutter my kiddos' closets, but I kind of wanted to do, mesh it in with their toys, and I haven't gotten to that yet. So, here's hoping that I can get to that, go back to work for the next two days, and then I'm off the weekend. So, it just depends, I guess, how much I can get done tonight and over the weekend. Probably not, not a whole lot, but that's okay. Um, I have one week left until I go back to school. Boo. But, um, like I said, I'm so tired. It's 8.15. Um... But, with it being the new year, also leave me some comments down below of what videos you guys want to see this year. What videos you will find helpful. If, if you guys have any questions or anything. A lot of people have been asking me questions. So, if you if you guys want me to just answer all of them in, a, in like another big q and I'd be happy to do that. Now that there's more of you guys and you guys have more questions, I'd be happy to do another q and I'd be happy to do that like once a month if you want me to. Just if you have new questions. So... I mean, if, let me know down below if that's something you guys are interested in. I'm going to be doing do some decluttering, some cleaning. Um, I'm going to be doing some more vlogs, so I'm looking forward to that. Definitely more hauls. I have a Bath and Body Works haul coming. I have a Grove Collaborative haul coming. The, all those orders are placed and they're waiting to come in. I'm so happy. Um, I've really debated placing an order at Ulta because... My little one dropped my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I use this stuff every single day. It's the best bronzer ever. 
well, everything would I ever make it. Um, and with me going back to school and working in the divorce clinic at school, I will be wearing makeup more often when I go back to school. So, um, I feel like I need that back. So, when I'm going to pay for shipping, I'm not going to just order that one thing. I'm out of a foundation or two. Um, I definitely need some setting spray, that kind of thing. Um... I'm thinking about placing an order there. I know that I haven't really done anything like that on my channel before. Um, I I do really enjoy beauty and makeup. I just, ever since becoming a mom, I haven't really had time for it. So, but if you guys are, if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, definitely let me know. But I have lots of fun stuff coming to, for you. So, if you're not subscribed, wow, subscribed, please do so. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.